A man endures the indignity of growing up the son of a popomatic trouble board game. Annyeong Haseo and welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas, and our sixth film takes us back to the naughtiest franchise for an installment that feels more eager to wrap this up than even we are. It's 1989's Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, Better Watch Out. A blind woman is trying to psychically connect to a man in a coma. However, it's not just any man, it's Ricky, the serial-killing Santa, and once he wakes up, he becomes focused on finding her. Silent Night, Deadly Night is a slasher franchise about a serial killer who dresses up as Santa Claus to punish people he thinks are naughty. In Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, the killer never dresses up as Santa, and nearly all the kills happen off-screen. So you have a slasher Santa movie that has neither a slasher nor Santa. What we have instead is Ricky, the killer from part two with a plastic bubble on top of his head, murdering people when he sees the color red. This is unintentionally apt since this whole series is bullshit. The subject of Ricky's attention is Laura, a blind woman who lost her sight and both her parents in a plane crash. She's a clairvoyant and sees not only visions of the future, but into Ricky's mind where we're treated, once again, to the constant flashbacks to the murder of Billy's parents Establishing this franchise's habit of recycling previously shown footage, Laura is heading to her grandmother's for Christmas along with her brother and his new girlfriend, who introduces herself by offering her hand for Laura to shake. Laura, who is blind. Then the girlfriend is just mean to Laura about her blindness. In fact, if the movie has a recurring theme, it's people being mean to Laura because of her disability. While the movie has some nice effects when showing the aftermath of Ricky's murders, we don't see the murders themselves. So rather than develop a sense of tension, the movie develops a sense of inevitability, and you're left waiting for Ricky and Laura to face off in the house. None of the Silent Night, Deadly Night movies have been good, but the first two are at least bad in interesting ways. Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, Better Watch Out, is just boring, and I can't recommend it, either on its own or as something to show at a party. The only thing going for it is the presence of TV's Robert Culp as the dismissive police lieutenant, and the fact that this is the on-screen debut of Laura Herring. She plays the girlfriend, and went on to be the lead opposite Naomi Watts in Mulholland Drive. Did David Lynch watch this movie? That seems more incomprehensible than anything that happens on screen. Two out of five domed dudes dusting dopes. Tomorrow we'll see Robert Culp show up to cash another paycheck. Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.